When we talk about tip theft, we're not talking about customers grabbing money off the table as they exit the restaurant. We're talking about managers, supervisors, and owners systematically stealing restaurant and hotel workers' hard-earned tip money. Sometimes managers steal tip money by just demanding a cut from workers, but often they get more crafty and steal through automatic service charges, credit card fees, and by including themselves in tip pools. I experienced tip theft firsthand while working in hotels, and it's a rampant problem throughout the service industry. What's worse, there's no federal law against it. In theory, the Department of Labor says all tips belong to the employees who receive them, but in practice, they only enforce the law when the tip theft is putting the worker below minimum wage. So as long as your employer lets you keep enough money to be making $7.25 an hour, there's nothing you can do. Thankfully, many cities and states have stepped up to pass laws. Rhode Island is not one of these states. That's why we're asking our politicians to pass a proposed law to end tip theft in the ocean state, to make sure that workers take home all the money that they're earning, and to make sure that customers' money goes where they intend it to go. Many restaurant and hotel owners are already playing by the rules and have no reason to fight this bill, but there are others who don't want to see the money from stolen tips disappear and are trying to kill or water down the bill. That means we need your help. Please sign this petition that we'll be delivering to lawmakers and call your local state representative and senator and urge them to pass this bill. Every name and every call counts.